everyone and welcome to another edition of the backup panel application version 12 of Tips and Tricks. Today I wanted to talk about creating a media vault. So if you are interested in how to create a media vault, we have here an option and we can create a media vault. What is the purpose of creating those vaults? purpose of creating media vaults is very basic. Practically, if you are uh, trying to get your tapes somewhere to a different site and you want to uh, hold them for uh, this period of time before between the transition time somewhere, you can always put them in a vault and you can also protect them. So you can, while you're creating the vault, you can uh, take protect all tapes moved to this media vault automatically so they are going to be protected so I'm going to do this as well so they are not going to be rewritten or they are not going to be used for anything else they are going to be in the vault waiting to be taken to a different location okay so now in the vaults option we get our media vault we can even set location here manage locations add we can then name the location that is going to let's say uh, whatever okay And we can import some stuff as well into here. Okay, so that's gonna be just a basic location. And of course, we can edit the vault if you need to. Although, although there is not much, not many options here for editing. The next thing you can actually, if you have uh, create, if you have pools created, let's say uh, in my standard pool go to properties and if we go next and next uh, there we have it uh, offline media tracking move all the offline tapes from this media pool into the following media vault and of course if we have a media vault so if one of those tapes goes offline or, or we are gonna take the tape offline because it's gonna go then go out to a different location. If you uh, take this option, it's gonna be automatically uh, the tape is gonna be automatically put in the media vault. So I'm just gonna finish. Now let's, uh, for example, take. Uh, so going back to, of course, uh, now uh, our media uh, media vault. Uh, of course, you can uh, put in the media vault everything that has been written. So if you have any kind of backup written into tapes, you can put those uh, tapes uh, into the media vault. But first of all, so you cannot put into the vault uh, tapes that are actually without anything. So that haven't been written, written with any, any backups. Okay, so let's go to a standard pool. So I got here uh, a tape that has some backups on it. And now, in order to actually get it offline, because I want to export this tape and it's going to be taken to a different location, so I need to do the export. This way, I'm exporting and uh, taking out this. Uh, uh, tape from my library and preparing it to be moved to a different location and as you can see immediately this tape becomes offline and it's also protected so it cannot be used for uh, any purpose if it goes to writing data right now and if we go to our media vaults the tape is here you can always go to the properties check the properties of the tape And of course, if you would like to uh, remove it from the media vault, let's say you made a mistake and you would like to move to the vault a different tape because you were in a hurry, then all you need to do is actually uh, 
gonna remove the protection and we're gonna uh, remove it from the vault and now in our standard pool we got our mm, we got our tape back with the backup but it's still offline so, so of course I need to put the tape back into the library and now I need to just rescan the library for any changes that have happened and now if we go to our standard pool again the tape is online and it can be moved to the vault so this is how the Vim Media Vault works if you have configured the option in the properties uh, regarding moving uh, moving, moving uh, the tapes so if you have uh, actually set the retention time protect the data if uh, you have set the retention time uh, after this time uh, they are going to be offline the tapes are going to be offline and they are going to be moved to the vault automatically of course if you choose never override data then uh, uh, this option won't apply okay so as always like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one